see light? I see light. Very good. So as you see this light, I'd like for you to describe to me, is this light moving? Um, it's big. It's big. It's big. What color is this light? Just like white. Mm-hmm. White light. What else? Just light. Mm-hmm. How do you feel in that light? It's good. It feels good. Very good. good. Let's see if you can move in that light. Can you move in that light? Yeah, I can move. All right, so let's begin to move. And tell me what happens when you move. More light. More light. Describe it all. Describe how it feels inside this light. Connect with your senses. Yeah. Mm hmm. The more you talk, the more you'll understand. What is this light? See light. Mm -hmm. I also see some shadows, however. Mm hmm. Tell me about these shadows. They change. The light is. They, they change. They're getting smaller. Mm hmm. And as the observer of this, what do you sense from all of it? It's just, it's just telling me that you you recognize light. Mm-hmm. Very good. With, that it gets smaller. The darkness. The the shadow dark parts are getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Now this light that you're observing, are you part of this light? Yeah, I don't see my, my body or anything. It's mm -hmm. just light. Okay, very good. So I'd like for you to tell me what happens next. What happens next to you? Are there any feelings or emotions associated with this? What comes to? Is this a place where you want to stay? It's really just light. It's just light. Very good. So let's move forward in time to see what happens next? What happens to this light next? Begin to see it moving through time. Does this light move? Does it change? Just see like smoke. I see smoke. Mm hmm. Tell me more about this smoke. Yeah. And there is light, however, the smoke moves mm -hmm. around and around. How does that smoke make you feel? It's just there. It's just there. Does it have a color, this smoke? It's, it's different colors of black and gray and, mm -hmm. and even the smoke disappears and shows the, the light shows again but it moves around mm -hmm. and as you observe this the observer all of this do you think that this is something that you're creating or it's doing it on its own I'm letting go. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. So, um, 
Um, my I know my guides are here. Mm-hmm. My guides are here. Very good. I'm just trying. I'm I'm allowing them to show me in pictures. Mm-hmm. I want to see pictures. So. All right. And somehow, this is what I'm getting. Very good. So since your guides are there, you can have a dialogue with your guides. Oh yeah, they're they're here. So I'd like for you to just listen to what your guides are saying about these pictures. Why are they showing you these pictures? I said that's where you come from. Mm-hmm. And as you're observing this, how is this helping you understand who you are? Just like. Mm-hmm. Find out how much power this light has. What can you do with this light? Can you play with the light? It's big. It's big. Mm -hmm. What can you do with this light? Mm-hmm. It just shines everywhere. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I just feel that my body's buzzing. Mm-hmm. What do you receive from that light? Nothing. They're just telling me this is who you are. This is who you are. Very good. Is there anything else that the guides would like to show you about this scene at this time? I said I'm free. Mm Mm-hmm. Very good. So now that we know that this soul is free, let's find out why this soul chose to come to the earth at this time. Let's begin to move through time and space and let's find the moment in time when this soul chose this lifetime. So I'm going to count from five to one with each number. You'll be traveling through time and space to that decision-making moment. Five. Drifting and floating, taking your guide with you. Four. Through time and space. Three, to the moment of planning this lifetime of Zeni. Two, and one, be there now. Where are you? Just a big mess. It's a big mess. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this mess. What do you encounter? It's just... It's just... dark. Mm-hmm. Where there's do you light, see? too, but there's... just scattered... Mm-hmm. darkness. Where do you see the scattered darkness? I'm trying to comprehend that. Mm-hmm. I'd like for you to zoom out a little bit. Zoom out this picture and see what this scattered dark mess is all about. What is it that you're encountering? It's a war. It's a war. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this war. Where do you see this war? I just see Earth. Mm -hmm. Like a map of Mm -hmm. Earth and the globe. Mm-hmm. Where are you seeing this more? I'm in space. Mm-hmm. Do you have a body in space? Yeah, I see the war on Earth. I'm on space. Mm-hmm. I'm watching from above. Okay. From where you're watching, do you have a body? Take a look and see.
just energy. It's just energy. Okay. Very good. So as energy, are you receiving any of this mess in your vibration? Are you feeling it? I feel it. Mm -hmm. I, I feel the change. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that change. What is this change all about? I need to shine the light on the darkness. Mm -hmm. How are you going to do that? Bring an awareness. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. How will you do that? What is the plan? I just see light. I don't know. Very good. So now that we understand that you have seen a war on Earth and need to shine the light on this darkness, I'd like for you now to connect with your guides. And let's find out when the decision was made to come in as a body. As any. I'd like for you now to go to that time and space. Be there now. What is this place? S same place mm. of light. Mm -hmm. How is it that this soul chooses this family and this place in which to enter to shine the light? I have to build myself. Mm hmm. How is this done? Condition. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I volunteered. And you volunteered. Mm-hmm. When you volunteered, were you by yourself? Or did others volunteer with you? It's just the linking light. The linking light. Very good. Does this linking light have information? Yeah, it's it's like it's like cells of the body. The light is like its own. Everybody is connected. It's mm. like the skin. Mm -hmm. and, but it's light with a lot of energy and sparks. Mm -hmm. So did you enter one of these fields of light? It's where I am. Mm -hmm. It's where. Ooh, who I am. Okay. It's not just me, it's it's a lot of light. Okay. And those lights can go anywhere and they can separate and be anywhere they want. Mm hmm Can these lights be in different places at one time? Yes, they yeah. they, they volunteered too. They did. So as part of this light, are you anywhere else also? Or did all of your light go into Earth to shine it? No, I'm everywhere. You're everywhere. Very good. So how do you connect with the other volunteers? I don't know. I could. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to see how it is that this light is connected with the others. How do you connect with the other volunteers? It's a grid. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me what this grid looks like? It's a grid of energy. Mm-hmm. Everything's connected right away. Mm-hmm. So what goes through this grid of energy? Anything. It's just everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's feelings, thoughts, wishes. Blessings. Mm -hmm. 
And how do you use this grid yourself? Sun love. Mm -hmm. Now, when you first saw the earth, you saw war. I did. Why is it that you chose to go into a place that you did, the country that you did? What was there that you needed to shine your light on? It was to be aware of the struggles that was the poorest country in the world. The most conditioned country in the world. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to see it from the perspective as your soul and see how this entity named Zeni has affected that area of the world. What did she do with her energy? She was a child. Mm -hmm. Did this child make an impact at all in that area of the world? She was just meant to be conditioned. She was meant to be conditioned. Okay. Now, has she had a human body before? Or is this the first time that she's come to this planet? First human. The first human. Okay. So what is it that she needed to be conditioned to be in this life? To be aware of the... To be aware of the poor mm -hmm. quality of life. Mm -hmm. So she can open up later mm -hmm. to teach those of the same mentality. Mm -hmm. But she says she still has a quite a few limiting beliefs from her evolution there growing up. Does she need to have those limiting beliefs? No, she's well aware. Mm -hmm. She's she only has those when she is attached to her body more than connected. Mm-hmm. So what can she do to detach from her body more so that she can release those limiting beliefs? We're here. We're here. Very good. So the limiting beliefs about money. Can you tell her about money on earth? She she grew up in the poorest country in the world. Mm -hmm. She did that to herself in order for her to, to build herself. And it came down through the struggle of her parents. This was all a volunteer thing. Mm -hmm. Why did she choose those struggles? In order to share with others her growth. Mm -hmm. So she chose a dark place in order to come out of and share mm -hmm. the light of change. So how will be she be sharing this information with others? Just to teach them how energy works. It's mm -hmm. very simple. Mm -hmm. How well, does energy work? Well, she knows that it can t it automatically can change at any time. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what was yesterday or even a second ago. It just matters how it is right now. Mm -hmm. And she knows that she's a spiritual being in a body mm -hmm. and 
she this is where she found joy and she's now enjoying and look, looks at the trees and sings in the car and mm-hmm. she's connected to us and and she laughs at us and we laugh at her and she knows mm-hmm. and and she sees her life changing and she as long as she moves forward she doesn't think negatively anymore barely she still has her moments mm-hmm. um, she's really fun so what is it that happens when one has those negative beliefs how does that change the energy oh it flows she's been she's been flowing she's on point she's content uh, everyone that she meets with they are amazed and and she sees herself being on point she's a help it could be a help to someone that she's just walking by and she and we just tell her to look over and mm-hmm. and she'll be a she'll save someone um, it's that easy it happens all the time she'll have butterflies lay on her head and mm-hmm. and on her hand and we'll show her all different kinds and she plays with us and it's it's and she sees it she sees it she she has no resistance to animals so mm-hmm. we we show her all the time and and she even takes videos Mm-hmm. Of all these magical beings that she runs into everywhere, and and we show her in synchronicity. Sometimes when she doesn't connect with us, we show her in numbers, and mm-hmm. we show her in a song with her favorite song. It just and she knows it will turn out a turn on out of nowhere. Uh, so we have quite a good relationship. How many guides are helping her? Four. Four. Who are these guides? Um, I want to say we. Mm-hmm. Been changing. Mm-hmm. As she has progressed into growth. Uh, and she's funny sometimes she likes to invent things and she has many guides uh, however right now it's four it's four okay now these guides have they been in other places with her because you said this is her first incarnation as a human on earth does she have a soul family somewhere else in the universe soul family it just um, it's all light it's all light mm-hmm so her soul family is light correct mm-hmm she once was doing a meditation or heard the word Arcturian what does that mean to her so yes Arcturians It's who. It's just a, an origin. Mm-hmm. Does she need to know anything about that any further? It originated as an Arcturian, mm-hmm. and then it progressed in a in an alien okay. form. So she's had a life as an Arcturian before. Correct. Yes. Okay. Now, is that life of an Arcturian affecting the life now? Does she have some sort of connection with that Arcturian life? Yes, she had to come from there in order to shine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be who she is. Mm-hmm. Very good. And it's taken her quite a while for her to get from where she was. She had to go through a lot of difficult relationships for example she she wanted to experience mm-hmm. and pass through everything fast of all the karma and all and 
It just happened that way. She chose it that way. All right. So she wanted to experience life as a human? The yes. good, the bad, and the ugly? Correct. All right. Very good. But she also has a body that she needs to take care of in this life. And I know that she uh, went vegan recently, a few years ago. How is her body doing right now? Her body's good. Um, mm -hmm. She just needs more live, live food. Mm -hmm. She's pretty good to listening to her body. She's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Is it anything that she needs except for the live foods? She knows. Um, so she, she's she's a vegan. However, she when her body gets a certain urge, mm -hmm. uh, she's gotten better to listen to it. Mm -hmm. And recently, she had uh, she actually had eggs after mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. and uh, so she listens. So she listens. She's when not her she's not really stuck in the same uh, mentality of strictness when it comes to her body mm -hmm. she's pretty good with she's that. pretty good now i noticed she had a birthmark on her arm and her family kind of joked that it was regarding her father's wanting for peanuts while she was in the womb what is that birthmark supposed to be what is a reminder of it's just a it's a mark mm-hmm our mark. Okay. So what is supposed to be telling her when she sees that mark? It's supposed to just tell her that she's special and and everybody is special. However, she's special because she volunteered for this. Okay. She did. So what is she supposed to be doing now that she's volunteered? She you know that she has many different um, skills and talents. She likes to write. She likes to dance. She likes to put out information on YouTube about her spirituality and awakening. What should she be moving towards? She should just be her. Mm. And eventually show that you can be anything you want to be and it doesn't have to be a specific thing. You could just be you mm -hmm. and a role model and, and show that Humans can be superhumans if they align themselves because this is a power that everybody has and And this is what she's supposed to show and that's the reason why She's so talented in so many ways is because she wanted to show a way of just being a natural being. She doesn't have to be excellent at anything, but she could be good at everything. Mm -hmm. So what can she use this for? Just being a role model. Be a role model. Okay. Well, she was a little confused, for example, on her book, how she can talk about things and problems and solutions in her book. Who's giving her this information about her book? She connects to different guides sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on what she's working on. Yes. Um, on which book specifically we're speaking of. Mm -hmm. Well, she said she had a book about a lot of problems. Which problems on the earth. Okay, yeah. For a better word. Yes. Where is she accessing that information from? It's channels. It's channels. Good. So, how can she make a decision as to how to write these books? Sometimes uh, she doesn't even want to get involved with it because she, she's excited on the now mm -hmm. and uh, 
she stepped away from it for a while and she feels like she needs to keep working on herself before she goes there mm -hmm. and then sometimes we'll speak to her about it and she'll go to it and she'll add something and and then she'll back out um, there hasn't been a time where she hasn't been able to get distracted where we could channel through uh, more than a page at a time. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is she not allowing that? Is there something keeping her from flowing like that? She feels like she's got to still work on herself. Mm -hmm. um, she knows it's there. She knows we're here. Mm -hmm. So tell her the truth about where she is right now in her progress. You're doing so well. You've been doing so well. Mm -hmm. She's letting her energy free and we're enjoying watching her mm -hmm. enjoy herself. And we're enjoying her just being who she is and helping when she meets these people she runs into them with and they have all these some of them have are sick and she helps them out and, mm -hmm. and they message her and tell her how how amazing she is and she feels so good the fact that she helps them and that makes her feel so good and we know she's supposed to help people we, and she, she's not aware of it quite so so what happens when someone is in contact with her? Do they feel her vibration? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. What happens? What's the transformation that happens when she's around people? It's a completely different vibe. Mm -hmm. um, there's barely objections. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just joy, it's just happiness, nothing is serious. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she's not demanding, mm -hmm. but it's just an automatic thing where uh, they just like to listen. Mm -hmm. uh, and they love to be her friend. and. She has this ball of energy and of joy, and that's everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, she feels herself, she catches herself sometimes, and while we're sitting there laughing, uh, she catches herself on if she's in a low vibe, and mm -hmm. she'll just sit there and do nothing, and, and then she'll slowly get herself back on to, you know, into meditation, and then. Mm -hmm. And eventually she'll get to us, and, and when we do, we have a lot of fun. Very good. Now this human body came in when she was a baby at a certain time. And I'd like the guides now to assist me in bringing her to that moment of her birth. I'm going to count from five to one. With each number, I want Zenny to see herself back in the womb and beginning to come out of the womb. When I get to number one, she will be coming out and be able to see the clock on the wall. Begin now on five. Seeing yourself in the womb, floating and releasing that body. Four. Tunnel, going through the tunnel. Three, go ahead. Two. Feeling yourself releasing from that body. And one, coming out, looking around you. What do you see? Dark. Dark. Using your spiritual eyes, look up at the wall and see the clock. Your spirit. 
You're able to see all of those in the room. Seven ten. Very good. Wonderful. And now, I'd like for you to go ahead and talk to this little baby and tell her what she needs to know as she grows up. What would you like to tell her? Don't take anything seriously. Mm-hmm. It's all easy for now. Very good. I'd like for you to detach from that scene, leaving that baby knowing that you'll be able to assist her as she grows older and older. And when it gets time for her to wake up, you'll be able to help her. And now that Seni is in a state of awareness and alignment, I'd like to know why you brought her to this session today. What did she need to know and understand? Confirmation. Mm-hmm. Do you think that she received the confirmation that she needed today? Yes. Good. Sure. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that she would need to know today? No, very good. I didn't think. And she and I were supposed to meet a few months back, and it never happened. What was the reason that that didn't happen at that time? She actually uh, told us mm -hmm. to not let her secrets out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't know where to go with that. Mm-hmm. Did she let any secrets out today? Yes, she spoke about her book, and that was her secret. Ah, so now that her secret is out, is she ready to take action? Yes. Very good, very good. Is there anything else that she needs to know? Just to keep doing, this is nothing new. She gets connected to us. Very good, very good. Do you feel that we're complete today? I have a feeling um, no she's not she has her grandmother she wants ah, her grandmother. very good very good so let's connect now with her grandmother I'm gonna go ahead and count from one to three when we get to number three let's speak with grandma one two and three good morning good morning good morning Zenny's been smelling you in your in her presence. Why does she smell roses? Because I loved roses. Mm hmm You loved roses. So why have you come? She loves roses too. Mm-hmm. So what is the significance of the roses? What are you trying to tell her? She's like a rose. She's like a rose. Mm -hmm. And a rose makes people very happy when they receive them. Yeah, it makes her happy. It makes her happy too. So what would you like to tell your granddaughter today? I love you so much. Mm -hmm. And I know you love me. Mm -hmm. And I know you wish you could see, have seen me. And it's okay. I'm close all the time. I'm here. Take a deep breath in. Zenny, what do you want to tell your grandma? I just miss her so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give your grandma a big hug. Let me help you. Give her a big hug. Hug her tight. Tell her everything you want her to know. I just didn't know that was going to be the last time that I was going to see her at the airport. Mm -hmm. She knew. She knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you knew. I know. 
So all these feelings that you've been holding for so long, this guilt, what has it been doing to you? It's, it's been, I've been pushing it in. Mm. Do we need to push that in any longer? No. All right, so I'd like for Grandma to help, and let's release all of that guilt now knowing that it was the perfect time she knew she didn't want you to be there. She, she says she's good. She's good. So she so, says she's there with Grandpa and her daughter. Mm-hmm. And are you ready to release that guilt of not seeing her for the last time? Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand over your heart, and I want you to go ahead and begin to release all of that guilt. Now knowing that she's always there. She wanted you to see her exactly how you remembered her. To remember her that way and not at the end without a soul. Pull it all out. Tell me when I have all of it. Release it all. And tell me when I have it. Mm-hmm. Send it up to the universe to heal. And now what would you like to put in that heart instead of all of that guilt of not seeing Grandma? Just that. Let's put lots of love in there. Feel that love going in. Love for yourself, love for your grandma, your grandpa, and all of those in your life. Feel it going into your heart. And as your heart beats, feel it flowing through every cell of your body and seal it into your mind and just release what does grandma say now how does she look she's happy she's happy very good is there anyone else that would like to speak with zenny today yeah i see bish mm -hmm. bish was my dog mm -hmm. What does Vishu say? He says he loves me. Mm hmm And does he play with the other dogs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Find out what he does for you. He said it's okay. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to relief, release that grief that you have in your heart for him, now knowing that he is there with you. He's playing with the others. He's never left you. Who else do you see? I still see Peach. Mm-hmm. He's never going to leave you, is he? Mm -hmm. yeah. He knows. He knows. Why is it that Bishu chose to be with you and stay with you? I know. He feels like she, like, uh, he feels the guilt. Mm hmm. He feels. He knows my guilt. Mm hmm. But that guilt has been released. For grandma. No. No? It's it's for Bish. It's for Bish. It's him. So do we need to hold on to that guilt any longer now knowing that Bishu has never left? <sighs> that it was Bishu's time to take care of Zenny from the other side. No, she feels guilty that she she he stole. Mm. And she didn't check. Mm -hmm. If she trusted the people. Mm -hmm. So what lesson was it that... <laughs> she, she knew these people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were supposed to be babies. <laughs> so what lesson did Zenny learn from this? 
she, she, she would never let go of her babies now. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so now we understand that Bijou taught her how people could be. She was so trusting. And now because of what happened, Bijou has given her life so that she can protect all of those that she loves so much. Not only her animals, but her son. Can we see that Bijou gave her a lesson in how to help the others? Can we now release that guilt knowing that she gave us tools? She didn't know. Zenny was so trusting of humans and now she understands. She has to take action herself. She has to use her intuition herself. Has that helped her? Uh -huh. And sometimes lessons are very painful, aren't they? But they're not for forever. Very good. Just release it and let it go. I just take Bijou in your arms. <laughs> take Bijou in your arms. Just hold Bijou. <laughs> Connect with Bijou. What does Bishu tell you? He says he loves me. Mm -hmm. He says he loves that is too. Love is forever. Love is forever. Feel it. Feel that love. And it's okay to grieve. It's okay. But you don't have to wallow in that misery. You can understand that we all are energy. We transform. And that Bijou gave you beautiful memories to hold on to. That with Bijou's love, you are now able to love the others even more. And appreciate them every single day. So thank Bijou for that lesson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who else do you see on the other side? Anybody else? No. Feel the energies. Anything else that any others would like to tell Zenny today? Listen for the guides. She what? is. Mm -hmm. There's many that come through as she requests. Mm -hmm. And she has this ability to connect right away anyone mm -hmm. but she has no resistance to these good so how can she improve this connection in the future by getting reminded by reminders very good very good thank you is there anything else or are we complete now yeah very good thank you so much Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Holy crap. Mm, how do you feel? I feel good. You feel good? A lot of tears, huh? Yeah. Yeah, letting it flow. Oh. <laughs> so, this is wow. very, very nice. You now understand was who you are. Yeah. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Good. Feel good. You were able to connect. Good. Very easily with your guides, you're able to understand why you're here. Yeah, my dog, my healing with my dog, mm -hmm. that was, um, wow. I was in for a while. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? How, f how long do you feel that this was, the session was? How did it feel to you? Uh, probably like, um, I don't know, like. How did it feel? 
Don't calculate. Oh. <laughs> How did it feel to you? Like an hour. Mm, yeah. We are at about an hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. You did great. Okay. How did your body okay. feel? Is it still buzzing? It feels good. It's buzzing, but mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. I'm used to the buzzing, but it was buzzing a, buzzing a, lot, a more. lot more, yeah. <laughs> Very good. So is this something that you want to share with others? Do you think that this is something that you would like to release out there? Uh, if there is anything to uh Well, you were help. the light. You're a volunteer. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's plenty of light people that are yeah. light out there. But you were describing a grid, how all of this is all yes, one grid. Yes, it was actually a grid. Um, Tell me how you saw it. It was very weird. It was like uh, everything was linked together and mm -hmm. together and coming back around. So there's no one line that did, that couldn't connect to this line because there was at some point it connected to this line. So, so it was like a big fabric, uh, like a how the threads connect. Yes, it, but but. It was in different shapes yeah. and li like telephone wires. Uh, no, um, it was a grid of. It was just a grid of lights, mm. and then it was like let's say this one was a square, mm -hmm. and then the corners reached to other things, and that was a triangle, and that was. It was a very. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. Well, it seemed like it worked. Yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> How did it go, Zenny, for it, you? It was great. Yeah? It was good. So, um, it was so many unexpected... Um, yeah, I, I didn't expect... I didn't realize, like, that's actually a very big part uh, for my dog. Because... Mm. I had felt the guilt, but I never really thought of healing it for some reason. Because I how don't know how now? to fe how to heal it. How does it feel now? Uh, it feels good. Yes, you you're right. That was a lesson. He was a lesson, and that's the reason um, I have four baby four four other babies now <laughs> besides my son. <laughs> my son is my my heart. My son is another me. It's, uh -huh. it's I'm like this, but I'm speaking in other species terms yeah so since you were learning about the earth this is your first time here yeah. it's like your dog taught you you got to be also aware that not everybody is yeah, like you that was that was actually mm -hmm. weird and um they also let um they also made me feel like uh you wanted to root yourself here and, mm -hmm. and i wish i could have uh, asked why at the time. But well, you're still connected. I am, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, to root myself, and that's why I have a son. Ah, so you're getting the answers already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so is this yeah. something that you expected? No, no. Uh, I expected to speak more, I don't know, about my, I don't know. I didn't expect it to go this route. I definitely didn't expect the healing of what mm. went on my grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. And see, we didn't even discuss that really um, no. beforehand. So, um, no, you know, when, pe when people come to me with questions and they, and, and you're telling me things, but there are times when you're being brought here for something else totally different than what you thought you were yeah. coming here for and that was a big part of you your grandma uh, your dog and and you know what's crazy I have felt my dog in the past uh -huh. but I didn't know mm -hmm. it, it was just a memory and I would dwell down into a low vibration of depression yeah but and then forget about it but I never really thought of healing and I never went there again mm-hmm so what happens um, is you stuff it in right and when you stuff it it's, it's it doesn't work very well it doesn't it's not real good yeah yeah so how far did you travel to get here today 
Uh, about an hour. Yeah. Hour and hour and ten minutes. Yeah. So you're close. Yeah. You're I'm close by. Close and right now we're in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Yes. Uh, we're right next to the George Washington Bridge. So uh, you're from New York area. Yes. And Staten Island. <laughs> Staten Island. And I met Zenny in Los Angeles at one of the gatherings. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we met there. And, yes. And um, we, you actually, you guys, you and. Um, What's her name? Geraldine. Geraldine. Uh, you and Geraldine ended up... I, I chose a table. I sat down and I was in my high vibe. And there was, it was an empty table. I wanted some peace. And you guys came and joined me over there, actually. And that's what happens when you're high vibing. I was high vibing. <laughs> and when, you, when your vibrations are high, that's how yeah. you attract things. So, and yes. So and, and not only that, but she did uh, win a raffle. Right, and uh, actually told them. <laughs> yeah, she said she was going to win it, and she did. <laughs> so, um, but we weren't able to see each other in LA. It wasn't the right timing. So now it was the perfect timing. I told her I'd see her when I, yes. I came up here. So um, whenever mm -hmm. it's the right time for you, it's going to happen. So in order for you to see me, just sign up for my newsletter. Go to my website. Sign up about once a month. I do put out a newsletter. And when it gets to you, you got to click on that link very quickly because they do go fast. Uh, now, if you can't see me at one of these sessions, go to one of my events like Zenny did. Um, mm -hmm. It's an opportunity to meet other people, to ask other people questions, to share your own journey with them, with people who actually understand you. Mm -hmm. Because talking to people who don't get it doesn't work. You know, it, it just it, it just makes you crazy. So try to get with your tribe, and that's why I'm doing these gatherings. So. Uh, yeah, what, what happens is um, I, I would feel anytime you speak to someone that you have some fear of them judging you, um, you kind of build resistance for yourself. So when mm -hmm. I went to this uh, meeting, I actually started crying because I felt home and I felt mm -hmm. comfortable and I wasn't being judged. No. And it was actually amazing. And I was on that high vibe and then <laughs> I did whatever I wanted after that. I said, and my friend was like, uh, uh, she was like, no, you gotta wait like to go to meet her. And I was like, oh, then I'm sorry. I gotta win this raffle tonight. <laughs> And I apologized ahead of time, and there we go. I won the raffle. It was, yeah. it was. That's how it works. That's how it works. And so you are creating, you are manifesting with your own thoughts. Make sure you're manifesting what you do want and not what you don't want. That's the key. So when you state something, make sure that you state it in that it's already happened. It's already on its way. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, session. I certainly did. Mm -hmm, yeah. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon, either at a session or at a gathering. Till the next time. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Give me that hug. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You did great. Yeah.